In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to sound fuller on organ. Hey, what's up y'all? Daquan here with DaquanBowens.com. And this video is from a question from one of the members of the channel. First of all, let me shout out all the members. Uh, thank you guys for supporting the channel. But let me get this uh, question up. It's from Christian Bronner. He says, uh, just curious if you have any tips on playing organ. I'm trying to keep a full time, a, a full sound, but without having a sustained pedal, it's hard sometimes. The thing about uh, being full on organ is definitely having a strong left hand. Like that left hand has to be strong and you have to have a solid foundation uh, as far as uh, inversions. Okay, so I'm gonna be showing you uh, guys some chords that I'll do or the way that I'll voice the chord so that it's easier for my left hand. So my right hand is um, more uh, available for, for extensions and melodies, okay? So we're gonna be in a key of B flat. Whoop. All right, so here's the voicings. I'm just gonna play them first and I'll go over them a little bit later. So this is the one, All right? This is the two, three, four, five, six, my seven, and one, okay? It's basically <laughs> the same chords over and over, like maybe three chords that I'm uh, going in between, you know? So now let's bring it up. Let me add the uh, bass line so you can hear the context. Okay, so now it makes sense. All right, so now when you're playing your songs, if you know the numbers and where you are, you can use these voicings, okay? So we have a, this is a, a, B, a B add nine, okay? B flat add nine. So we have the, thir the three, five, one, and the nine, okay? We have the uh, a, a, um, E flat six, which what represents my, uh, two chord which is C minor seven so this is actually a C minor seven okay go back to the B flat nine but this would represent my three or if I wanted to make it minor just bring that down to D minor seven right now we, we go back to that E flat six chord okay And uh, the reason why I'm I'm going over these these two chords is because these are uh, substitutions for certain chords that I'm playing. So the one and the and a substitution for the one can be a three chord. So that's why the one and the three share the same chord and the same for the two and the four. OK. And also, if you understand relative minor, E flat is the relative major of C minor and C minor is the relative minor <laughs> of E flat major. Okay, so that's why those chords work, okay? So, uh, let's keep going. So one, two, three, four. Then we got the five, which is just an A add nine, um, F add nine, excuse me. And then the six is basically that one chord again, just with six in the bass. And then the seven is basically a five chord with uh, the third in the bass or the seven in the bass, okay? depending on how you look at it. It allows you to work smarter and it keeps these chords all in one place. So now if I wanna add a melody on each chord of the scale, see now it fills it up. Right? And Unlike piano, you know, once you take your hands off the organ, it doesn't sustain. So you have to find ways to keep your uh, chords and notes sustained. One way to help that is the inversions. And it's actually the way you position your hands. Uh, on, on piano, you're holding your hands like you're holding a tennis ball, something like that. And on organ, you, you kind of are a little bit more flat. So it allows you to slide in between the chords a lot more. All right. so. That helps as well, but when you're, if you're doubling the chords, right? For example, like that, you can uh, 
break away with your right hand because the, your left hand is still holding down. So it's giving the illusion that you have a sustain pedal. And I'm not using my sustain pedal on my keyboard, by the way. And I'm just creating melodies in my right hand to create movement, but still sound full and smooth uh, at the same time. Okay, so that's a little bit on that. Um, I can go a lot more in depth, but I'm gonna wait on the feedback from you guys and then maybe I'll do a part two. But that's pretty much it with uh, sounding full on organ before you start using the draw bars, okay? So you, the technique it has is about maybe 90% of sounding full on organ. All right, so if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And if you wanna become a member of this channel, the link is in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.